Hey guys, um, this is a repair that I'm not recording. I got the fluke out. This is an Atari football, but I did want to make a quick video and a thank you and shout out to Jeff, Patreon member Jeff, for sending me this 6502 uh, pod enclosure. works great I love it thank you so much and I'm just doing this uh, Atari football board right now it's one of the nicest cleanest Atari football boards I think I've ever seen it's super nice yeah but I love this thing it's awesome I really appreciate it I'm doing a RAM long test right now on the these two 2114s. This thing just boots to garbage. It boots to this. And so far, these RAM test all good. These are okay. Next, I need to do. I need to do the ROMs, and that's my last page. Right here. But we'll go ahead and do this now. Is this this passed? So we'll do a ROM at 68. To 6FFF, and that is 970F. F. That's M1. That's this one. And it comes back okay. So let's go the next one, ROM 7000. 73B4 Okay, and the last one is 78 to 7FFF 6526 All right, everything seems to test out okay. All of the ROM are good, and these RAM are good, and these two RAM are good. So, we have something holding this thing up from booting, and as of right now, it's a mystery. So, we'll have to think, why would this not boot if we can talk to all of our... Yeah, do a... I just did a run and it's not running, of course. So either this thing, we'll have to check the reset circuit, um, uh, possibly input um, 244s or something like that, or something's keeping it from booting. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. First thing I'm going to check is the reset circuit. So let's get the fluke out of here. It's done its job. It's verified that everything works. You know, I can talk to the ROM. I can talk to all of the RAM. No problem. So we'll go ahead and figure it out. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, guys, uh, pin 40 is the reset pin, and we are stuck in reset. That's why this won't run. So I have the schematic here. Right here is our watch, our, um, our reset counter. So I'll, I'll probe all of this, make sure these signals are coming in. Um, and all that kind of stuff. So make sure our 128 V is here, our watchdog signal is here. And that's pulsing this. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And I ended up just simply jumping a 90 over the reset counter, and it fixed it. I got a question for you guys. You'll see in this game, and this looks different. The, the color is darker, and at the 50-yard line, there is an Atari logo. My Atari football does not have the Atari logo. Why is that? What is different? 
about this? Does anybody know? Can anyone tell me that? But this one clearly has the Atari logo. Is it a four player thing? Is this a four player board? Maybe? I'm going to reset it and watch the 50 yard line. See that? See that Atari football logo? Here we go. See that thing? Why is that there? Why is that not on? Like my Atari football board does not have that. It's got to be in the ROM, right? It's got to be in one of the ROMs. It's not these because they tested to what they always test to. And it's not RAM, you know, that stuff's not permanently held in RAM. It's got to be one of the bipolars, doesn't it? I don't know. If anyone has an idea of why that is, please chime in and let me know. Thanks. Yeah, but that's all. It's just a reset counter. It was no good. Those 90s go bad quite a bit. So I'll replace that guy. And I just wanted to chime in with this one. This is not something that I'm recording and putting on YouTube. So, all right. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this, I, this is obviously, this is my Atari football board. And I believe it's a early version of the board. Because this is different than this. This is Atari football. Right? As is this, of course. But this board, look at up here. You know, you got a couple big chips up here. There's not as much up here as there is on this board. This board has extra circuitry. And this has a smaller chip there. And this one has a bigger chip. Yeah. This is just different. It's not much different, but it is different. Yeah. I don't know. This has got to be a... F this... This board, this is what I think. I think this is a four-player board. This is a later board, and it, it's, it's able to do four players. And the four-player board, I believe, is the one, the four-player style board is the one that has that Atari football at 50-yard line. The other ones don't. Every board I've ever seen is this type of board. I've never seen this style board. And you can tell, I guess the way to tell if it's a four-player board, really, is look up here. You got more circuitry for more trackball circuitry up here. And up here you only got that. That's the main difference is right there. So that is probably, that's my guess anyway, is the earlier boards that were only two-player like this don't have that football at the 50-yard line, the Atari logo. And MAME only, I believe MAME only had this board, you know, it's the same ROM code, you know, same ROM code, same RAM and all that. It's just, it's got to be different circuitry, has to be. Maybe these bipolars are different, possibly, I don't know. I don't think so because I believe that these bipolar ROMs cross to MAME. So why would they be different, right? I don't know. That's something to think about. All of these bipolar ROMs are socketed. So I could dump all of these and verify them against ROM ident. These ones on this board are not, and I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to repair this board. Anyway, just something to think about. It, you know, That's the difference I see is this is a later version four player ability board this probably cannot do four players 
and I believe, now that I think about it, no, I, it, it's a fact. The four-player board, the ROM file in MAME is 10K total. In, in this board, it's 7K. So there's more ROM data on this, which I'm going to close, you know, inspect this board a little closer and see where is, are there different bipolar ROMs on here. You know, I don't know. So that, I'm going to find that out. Yeah, after looking over this board, I don't see any. I don't see any extra ROM data on here. There is, this board does have a lot of jump pads. That kind of stuff. Like here's a couple for different options and whatnot. So yeah, this is just a different board. There's more circuitry on it. It doesn't look like it though. The only place I see extra chips or differences anyway is this chip, which is a MUX. And that's a one a two forty four. That's different. And other than that, I'm sure there's probably something different on here. The main thing is up here at the at the front. There's a lot of different circuitry there. So, yeah, anyway, it's interesting. Yeah, it's just a different board. All right, I'm going to I already cut this 90 out. There's my new, there's the old one. I cut it out and there's the new one going in. I'll put a socket in there, and this one will be done. I'll just run test it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I replaced this socket to use the Fluke, and I replaced this socket because it was an old Atari socket. And, yeah, so this one will be good to go. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And Jeff, thanks for the uh, 6502 pod enclosure. Appreciate it.